So this conference was set up in 2006 and I found that nano electronics is something that is very important for the world, especially in Asia. And I see that this nanotechnology will be very useful, especially in Sarawak. The oil and gas environment is very harsh. By using nanomaterial, they can really protect those oil and gas equipments from the harsh environment. And second thing is that agriculture needs a very good clean water. So this work can be immediately be applied to Sarawak. Nanotechnology is still very new in Malaysia and in Sarawak itself. The full potential of nanotechnology has not been fully explored in Sarawak especially our agriculture sector. All the participants, we are able to form a network and see how their expertise can solve whatever problem that we have over here in Sarawak. See that this knowledge hasn't been really advanced in Sarawak and I think that through this conference, I hope they can learn the new development and also network with the experts in the world. On the other hand, I also have a public lecture for those people who are beginning, including the high school student as well as the university undergraduates, so that they can all together learn the nanotechnology from the basic. This will be the golden opportunity for us to increase the interest and awareness of nanotechnologies to our young generation. Honestly, the nanotechnology has been advancing tremendously. As we know more about the nanomaterial and nanodevices, all this industry will definitely be able to leverage on the nanotechnology. They are basically in every aspect of life. It is my hope that in future, many, many more young people will learn about nanotechnology and make use of nanotechnology to bring development to our states and to our country.